Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus and in this Houdini tutorial we are going to convert a set of slice images to a volume. What you can see here is a sequence of images um, that go through a pocket watch. Uh, it has been um, recorded with an X-ray machine and I cropped those images so it's really only showing uh, the watch. It's also converted to grayscale. I improved the levels so the white is showing pure white and there is not too much noise or traces of things I don't want to show. And I also um, reduced the image size to 600 by 600 grayscale JPEG which is I think sufficient just for showing this in a volume. Alright, so this is what it looks like in Houdini. I first created a VDB, activated it and used a wrangle to read in all the images and then I centered it again and made it visible with a volume visualization. Let's go through this step by step in a new document. Let's start off with a geo container and name it by your object. I call it pocket watch. Dive inside and we are going to start off with a volume. I take a VDB volume and call it density. We can leave it at float. This is basically the grayscale images that are going to well, um, be used in here. And the resolution we can start off with something rather coarse just to keep it uh, quick. And next we need to activate the VDB. In here we can define the size which is 1 by 1 by 1.5 in my case. So you can basically imagine the images running or starting off from here and then they're going to run along the z-axis or so in this direction. And the image is quadratic, this is why I've chosen one by one. Also I want to position this so it's sitting on uh, top. So when you look at the grid down here it's starting right at zero and running towards um, z or yeah, Z. Perfect. So we can next just use a volume wrangle, which is basically where all this um, magic happens. And in general, we would first of all define some um, numbers here because my image sequence is starting from number 0, 10,000. I want to um, just bring this in here by an integer called count. So it's starting from 10,000 and then we add um, another integer value on top of that based on the position. The, so position Z is starting here from 0 and then running towards 1 and more. And when we multiply this by 1000 this means that I can um, cr get 1000 images along one unit so this would be image number 1000, 1200 and so on. So next we define a string because we need a string uh, for our file name and we are going to call this sprint, uh, the string is called num but we use string sprint f and this expression tells us to put six digits in front of uh, the number whatsoever or yeah, it's, it's making it six digits long and we're taking count as the basis so even if we are just having 10,000 here it will say 0, 10,000 then or some other number but it's always going to be six digits long. Next I want to define the name of folder and for this I want to have a user input so I can just call this folder click here and this is where the user can put in its uh, recent folder with all the images. Next we want a string called file where the user can define basically what the images are uh, called without the file ending and with all the, uh, without the numbers. 
And then we put all this together in a string called path, which is using folder plus file plus the number. The number is always changing. And the ending in my case is dot JPEG. So next we want to define a vector called UVW, which is basically the position inside the volume. And we just make this based on the world coordinates because this is how we set up our box. So this should work right away. We next define the colors. So there's a function called color map that is at minimum just uh, using um, an image. In our case, a changing image called path, which is here changing the number and it's always going to be ending with JPEG. And it's starting with the first image on the right side. And then just while traveling towards this direction, it's increasing in numbers. And in order to know where to map it to, we're going to use the UV coordinates we defined before. So if you wanted to be really clever, you could just say vector at position, so we don't even need the UVW. Now let's click on this icon again to also see the file string we've defined before. And for convenience, we should switch this both to um, file, in this case directory, and for the image itself, we can say file image. So, and those are read only if you like. So you just make sure folder is reading file directory and the file is an image. Hit accept. And now choose the folder from your hard disk where all the images are to be found. Next, you want to uh, look up the file name. So in my case, uh, it's um, ur underscore stapel. So we would just make this like that. So it shouldn't contain a number. It should not contain the ending. Um, this is going to be taken care of by the script. Now, I don't want the VDB to have a um, constant value, so we can just get rid of this. And the script should now fill this as soon as we assign the color to density. So I just choose the first color channel here, and there we go. Now this might be a bit disappointing because it's not really showing up here, but a volume visualization um, is able to change this as soon as you crank up the density scale. And of course you can use a transform node to bring this back to the center. So just put it to minus 0.5, we can leave it the height at zero. And in my case, minus 0.75 should bring it to the center or we can eyeball it so it just looks good. All right, that was it. Thank you for watching. 